back to my channel. So today I am doing a tutorial slash review for you guys. So the tutorial part will be at the end of this video, but the review part is right now. So today I am doing a review on the Jordana Fabu Liner Bold Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner. So basically it's kind of like using a marker on your eyelid. It looks like this and you can use it this way with the fatter part if you want like a really thick cat eye or you can use the super thin part and do a thin cat eye. <laughs> so basically I decided to get this because I was kind of fed up with using a regular liquid eyeliner that you have to like unscrew the brush part and paint it. Um, it took kind of too many strokes in my opinion and even though I did a video called how to get the perfect winged eyeliner a while ago, I've just since been having a bit of a struggle because um, it was harder to get it to match on each eye, whereas with using a marker you have a more precise um, kind of situation because you can just like tell it where to go instead of having the brush maybe spaz out and go its own direction and then you have to clean it up with a q-tip. So out of the probably five times that I've used this, uh, today was the only time that I had a little bit of a problem and it was just because I wasn't really watching what I was doing so it's not the marker's fault but I have had virtually no problems using this and it's so much easier than using a regular liquid eyeliner so um, really been enjoying this and it's around three dollars depending on where you get it um, I don't know where Jordana sells everything like depending on what state you're in but I got mine from Kmart just because that was like the closest thing to go to and yeah, it was around $3, it might have been more 2 more 4 whatever, but um, it was somewhere around that mark. And this is a non-fraying eyeliner tip, tip a non-fraying eyeliner uh, tip pencil marker thing. Um, they have a version that is more of a fine tip, and that package did not say that the tip does not fray, if that makes sense. Whereas when I got this package, it said right on the bullet points of like why this is a good product. It says that the tip does not is not prone to fraying. There we go. So that's why I decided to get this versus the thin eyeliner, just because I'd rather not deal with fraying. And then once it frays, you pretty much can't use it anymore. So this I've been loving, 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 and I will never go back to like regular liquid eyeliner, probably as long as I live. Um, this is such a great deal and you will see how easy it is in the tutorial that is coming up next. But um, one quick thing, if there are any beauty gurus, I don't know if they still call them that on YouTube, but uh, if there are any beauty vloggers, bloggers, whatever, in the Tampa area or surrounding, I would love to get in contact with you because I would love to do some collaboration videos soon or just meet up with people who have the same passions that I do. So if you are a beauty whatever I named before, um, you can comment down below or whatever if you'd like to connect with me because I would love to talk to you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!